Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the triangle inequality theorem. Um, before we do that, I want to zoom in here so I can give you some drawings. Um, let's say that I had a, a base 10, 10 you know, centimeters long or whatever. And then let's say I had another arm that was like 7 and then another arm that was um, 3. Well, if you think about it, none of this could make none of this could make a triangle because um, the the seven centimeter arm or whatever would would reach a certain point, and the three centimeter would reach a certain point to the point where they actually would just make when they actually connected, you would just get a seven and a three, and you just get two lines right on top of the ten. So, so if you were to think about it, you'd have this 10 foot, and then you'd have a 7, and then you'd have a 3, and, and it wouldn't actually make a triangle. It would just be lines on top of lines. So that that wouldn't work. So you couldn't not, it's not possible to have a triangle with sides 7, 3, and 10. And, and you can think about this too. Let's say that our triangle had a base of 10 now, and then we had an arm of 4, and an arm of 4. Well, even if these two arms were put end to end, right, they would only reach 8 across, not 10. And so when these guys went to meet, they, they never would if they were connected down here in these vertices. They would never be able to meet. There'd be this gap of, of 2 inches or 2 centimeters or whatever it is apart. And so that's why any, any two sides of a triangle, so if you have some triangle like this, any two sides say it's A and B, they have to add up to be greater than the third side. And that's all the triangle inequality theorem says. Take a look at it. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So AB plus BC is greater than AC, AB plus AC is greater than BC, and AC plus BC is greater than AB. Yeah. Okay. So we need to determine whether the given measure can be the lengths of the sides of a triangle. Okay, so we're going to figure this out. Well, let's think about it. If I had um, side lengths 2 plus 4, that would equal 6, which is greater than 5. Okay, so that works. Well, let's try another 2. Let's try 4 plus 5. That equals 9, which is greater than 2, the third side. And lastly, I could say 2 plus 5 equals 7, which is greater than 4. So these are these all work. When I add up the sides, they are greater than the third side. Now, the thing is, we really didn't need to test all of these. We really could have just tested this first one, and we would have known, because 2 and 4 are the two smallest numbers. And so if we can just add up the two smallest numbers, and it's greater than the third side, then we're in business. So take a look at this next one. I have 6, 8, and 14. Well, let's just do the two smallest sides. That would be 6 and 8, right? So 6 plus 8, that equals 14. And is 14 greater than 14? Well, no, it's not. So this would actually not make a triangle. And, and that makes sense, because if you were to think about it, let's zoom in so I have enough space to draw, but if you were to think about it, you'd have this length 14, you'd have this arm 6, and you'd have this arm 8, and they wouldn't connect until the arms were straight down. And so you'd end up with just legs right on top of lines right on top of lines. That's when they would finally connect. So yeah, this would this wouldn't make a triangle. And so we can actually figure out what the lengths of a triangle should be um, if we're given two sides of a triangle. That's what example two here is all about. They say in triangle XYZ, XY equals eight, XZ equals fourteen, which value cannot be YZ. Okay. Well, here's the deal. What we can do is we can actually take the two sides they give us, 8 and 14, and we could figure out the most that it can be. We could say, hey, 8 plus 14, well, that's 22. So that's actually the most the tri or that side YZ can be. And, and actually, I'm sorry, it's not the most because it has to be less than 22. It cannot be equal to 22. It has to be less than. And to find the shortest distance it can be, we can do 14 minus 8. And that gives us 6. And so the smallest distance it could be is 6. And this makes sense visually. Here's why. Let's, um, let's say that 
14 is in blue, and um, 8 is in red. So if we were to stretch these triangles out all the way, right, so that it was straight across, that would be 14 and 8, right? And so, so that total distance here would be 22. Well, remember, it doesn't make a triangle if it's just in a straight line, but that is the farthest that we could get this point, or this end of this side, from this end of this side is 22. So that's the farthest distance we can get. Um, and then even at that point, it doesn't make a triangle. When it's, as soon as it's just a little bit less than, if I was to take this and just kind of rotate it up just a tad, then, sure enough, we would have a triangle, right? But we don't. And then the same thing is true if we were to fold it over all the way. So here's a... Actually, yeah, let's just draw this, you know. So let's say I was to take this and I was to fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it until I got all the way to almost straight back. Well, if this is 8 and this whole distance in blue is 14, that means that this remaining distance here is 6. And again, that wouldn't make a triangle. It would just be lines on top of lines. But just anything greater than 6 would make a triangle. So, so that's why that works. And so there's just a quick little calculation we can do. Um, some people will do this. When they do this calculation, for whatever reason, you, you might sometimes be tempted to do 8 minus 14, which would give you negative 6. And obviously, a side can't be negative, so you'd have to take the absolute value. And that's how we would get 6. Now, what I would say is just always do the biggest number minus the smallest number. And then you'll have your, your lower boundary. And then add them up together to get the upper boundary. So why don't you guys try this next one and see if you could figure out what the upper and lower boundaries of these triangles are. And pause the video if you need to. Okay, well, hopefully you said this has to be somewhere between 5 and 19. So you would say DF is somewhere between 5 and 19. You'd get that by saying 12 minus 7 is 5. And 12 plus 7 is 19. Pretty simple, right? All right, that's 5, 4, A.